Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today I am working on my 19 for 2019 goals. I've got um, various items pulled from different sticker sheets and sticker books and then I am using the Happy Planner paper from the Miss Maker collection to set this up. Now I did already start laying out like all of my goals because trying to figure out where I wanted them to go it was going to take me way too long to try to write them in, film it, and I was worried I'd be pulling up stickers and putting them back down. So I did go ahead and lay out a lot, but I figured um, I've still got some other stickers that I pulled. And so I would lay those out and kind of show you all how I used um, this Happy Planner um, paper and some of the sticker books to write down my goals. So I used stickers from, let's see this um, journaling doodle book which is a new one from the farmhouse sticker book which is also a new one and then I believe I pulled some from this journaling sticker book and I think that's it I may have pulled something from either the free spirit or the boss babe but I'm not quite sure I don't think I did and then I also used some stickers from this um, sticker book from the Be Happy box um, and then I also pulled some stickers from these journaling stickers that the Happy Planner sells and this is from the um, Free Spirit pack which kind of matches the sticker book a little bit. So um, what I have done is I'll go ahead and show you what I've already laid out. So I took a goal sticker here and then um, I want one of my goals is to get monetized on YouTube this year. Um, another one is to post two to three videos a week, film, edit, film and edit my videos weekly. That's for YouTube. Um, reach 500 Instagram followers. Do one giveaway a month, and that can be on any form of social media. Um, add stickers to my Etsy shop. Draw at least five stickers myself. Um, stay in the planners I already have instead of buying new ones and not completing those. Um, work on wedding plans and projects. And then here is my budget goals. So budget goal one is to complete three months of no spends. And that means like absolutely no spending on those months. And then budget goal two is to save um, $1,200. So wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, twelve hundred dollars. So I will just mark off each time a hundred is saved. I had it written down elsewhere. I couldn't remember which goal I had set. And then on the back of this page, I've got this plan sticker here. And one of them is to increase flexibility. And I wrote some ways I could do that by trying Pilates, yoga, try stretching at least two times a week, any of those. And then over here, take a minimal of 30 minutes each day away from technology. Enjoy the mental break. Then I've got this one here and this flips up. It says, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. So in that, I've got take at least six me days this year. And I've got six little spots where I can fill in when I've taken a me day. Then I've also got a do a declutter challenge tidy up five days or nights a week a reading list my goal is to read five books this year that are not school related and so that actually accommodates those well i'll write those titles in and then pertaining to my daughter i want to start potty training this year and i want to work on words letters and numbers so um i went ahead and just pulled random stickers to kind of fill in the open space so I figured I would lay those out with you. So for the um, add stickers to my shop, I've got some little bean characters from Sweet Bean Plans. And I will try to link all the shops I mentioned below. So I'm going to put that little bean character right there. Then I've got where I want to draw at least five designs myself. Again, we've got a little bean character here drawing. Um, I want to try to film and edit videos. So I am putting these little film, edit and upload stickers right here. And these are the little munchkins right here from Coffee Monster Co, which I have a referral link below. And then this is from Sweet Ava's Paper. 
and I will definitely try to link all of them for you. So if you like any of these stickers, you can go check them out. And so I've just got lots of little characters. I feel like I don't use them enough. And this way, you know, I get to see them on a regular basis. And since this is an Etsy focused little goal, I'll put a little Etsy sticker right there. That is from um, Crafty Tatted Mama. I also just figured this would be a great way for me to share some of the um, sticker shops I like. Here's another one from Crafty Tatted. Crafty Tatted Mama, but I thought it would just be a good way to show you the different shops that I like to get stickers from. Um, and you know what, for this one right here, I will just put a little bean character right there because all of my social media is done through my computer and phone, so why not? Um, then down here for work on wedding plans and projects. I'm just going to put little bean character crafting. See if you can see that. So and it is a little bit more planner based but that's fine and I did pull this bean character here holding a planner and then I believe this is from Cactus Paper Co. Um, but I'm not 100% sure but I will link that shop just in case it is. All right, and then switching to the back, I've got all this reading here and this little reading um, mom and daughter kind of sticker. This is from Brianna and Nicole Designs. So I'll put that right there. Let's see where I wanted to increase my flexibility. I've got this cute little munchkin from Once More With Love. Um, what else? Tidy up five nights a week. Again, I've got another little munchkin. And then for declutter, I've got these two here. This is from um, Create With Pen. And this one, I want to say, is from Brianna Nicole Designs. And I just thought those would be cute little ones kind of put in here for decluttering because often you know stuff I'll declutter will go to recycling or Goodwill or something like that and then I've got this um, three right here are from once more with love they say get lit one more page in my happy place and I actually really enjoy reading I just hardly have the time so I felt like making it a priority this year is um, at this point kind of crucial for my wellness. Um, it's something I really enjoy and it really just uh, puts me in a good mental space. So I've got that laid out. And then for this take a minimal of 30 days away from technology, I pulled this cute little character from Sweet Ava's paper. And yes, it's a little fox in pajamas but I figured at nighttime that's when I would take the little mental break, maybe turn off technology for an hour before bed or 30 minutes before bed or whatever. And then I also pulled this one from the Modest Cat and it's little mom and daughter. And I'm just going to place that one right here because again, this is my daughter oriented box of goals that I'd like to accomplish with her. So that's all those from the various Etsy and Shopify shops. And then I did pull these from the different Happy Planner books. And I figured if they fit in somewhere, I'll add them in. Um, but they don't have to go in here. So let's see. We've got a let's do this. I think I'm going to put this one right here. Because I really want to focus on my social media this year. I would really like to grow it. Um, you know, I'm not in a huge... Oh, I also did want to say these are from the new Happy Planner sticker book. The uh, Be Happy box. And so is this one. But, um, you know, for this year I really want to focus on amping up my social media. And um, doing more with it. Um, I also just want to get more involved in the planner community. Because um, 
I really, I love meeting new people and I love meeting like-minded people. So my goal is to definitely just get more um, involved. So I'm trying to figure out, I really want to use this book. I just don't know where I want to put it. Let's see. There we go. So a little plan on it. And then let's see. I think I'm going to grab this one since I've got all these golds and foils or the gold foiling around here. Let's see if I can make this one fit without covering up my bottom sticker. I really have space for these other stickers I pulled so I'll just put those back somewhere else to use for another time but this is my oh you know what I did pull these and I can make these fit because I've got this open space down here Okay, so that is all that I'm going to lay out there. So that is all up for my 19 for 2019. I've got all my goals written out and um, I look forward to hopefully checking them off or um, being able to write little notes under them of like when I accomplished it and writing the date next to them or something like that. But that is what I'm doing for my goals. So um, if anyone else is doing a 19 for 2019 or anything like that and you are doing a page layout, especially if it's something I inspired you to do, I would definitely love um, links to your social media where you post it or um, even if you just want to send me a private message on Instagram showing me what you've done. I would absolutely love to see what you all are doing for 2019 and thank you so much for watching. Bye!